Oh yeah! If at first you don't catch it with the trap, you wait just a few seconds longer and the turtle will return to the bait all the way underwater. And that is the only way that I have learned to catch snapping turtles. No nets, no traps, no problem. Oh buddy, that is a good turtle right there. Of all the places on our planet that are considered biodiverse, one of the wildest to visit is South Africa's Eastern Cape. Today we are visiting the renowned Karika Game Reserve. What we're gonna do today is head out on a good old fashioned South African safari. Okay guys, just off the side of the vehicle here we have five rhinos and these are white rhinos and they are absolutely incredible. So huge, these giant grazing animals out here in the grasslands. Now white rhinos specifically focus on eating grasses. It's almost like a vacuum cleaner the way they mow across the grass and just chomp, 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 chomp all day long just feasting on these grasses. Quite intimidating too, from this distance, we're about 50 feet away from them and they are huge. Well guys, if you get the chance, come out here and visit Cricket Game Reserve. I'm Coyote Peterson, be brave, stay wild. We'll see you on the next location. Oh my gosh, there's an octopus. All octopus are capable of biting, all are venomous, but hopefully this one doesn't. There he is, there he is, we got him. Got him! Yes! yes! Now they do have a little beak on their underside that of course he could give me a bite with, but the venom of this species is non-lethal. This is the common octopus. They can get bigger than this, but to be honest with you guys, this is the largest octopus I have ever caught. What it wants to feel is like it's protected. Look at that color change. Within a matter of seconds, it completely morphs the shape of its body and its coloration. Octopus have eight tentacles, and one of the coolest things about these creatures is that if they lose a tentacle, they can rejuvenate it. As the tide goes out, if these animals are stuck in a shallow pool, they can do this. Slink from pocket of water to pocket of water. One of the key Today, we're gonna hang out with Swiper. The red fox is the largest of the fox species, almost. Oh, so oh she got the mark. Mario. Animals, for some reason, love the microphone muffs, and now Swiper has literally swiped the microphone muff. Go ahead and take that back from me. Listen, he does not want to give that microphone fluffy back. Red foxes are incredible hunters, voracious predators. They primarily feast on rodents, but even something the size of a rabbit is fair game. There is a very distinct musky type odor in this enclosure. Almost like the musk of a skunk or wolverine, they do constantly scent mark. It's like a skunk meets a bad fart. Foxes are incredible diggers. They will oftentimes dig burrows to live in. They can also dig little mice or voles out from the ground. And if it lives in your house, it will definitely dig holes in your couch, which again is another reason that the red fox does not make a good pet. And unlike wolves and coyotes, they do not have a pack mentality. You'll often notice that foxes are completely solitary. Ow!